everyone, I'm here with a prosperity spread for the month of May. I encourage you to use the spread for yourself, see how you feel about it. Uh, with whatever cards you want, you can use tarot, you can use Lenormand, you can use Oracle, whatever it is that you're using, runes, uh, you can use this spread for that. So I encourage you to, um, you know, adapt this spread as you need to. Um, if you want your own prosperity reading for me, you can go to my Etsy shop listed below and uh, get a reading there at a low price for the month of May. So you can definitely take a look at that um, if you would like to. Otherwise, you know, let's let's I'll show you the spread and you can definitely feel free, like I said, to use it yourself for your own readings with your own stuff. So I have here just, you know, the Shadowscapes Tarot, which is what I'm working with uh, for the month of April. Um, but I'm going to show you here this particular spread. Now, this is about prosperity. So this is showing you maybe where some blocks are. This is also showing where you might be doing well in certain areas. And then what you can do to kind of change things as well. So the first card here, and now I'm not going to do a whole reading here just because I want to show you uh, the cards are more just to represent to you what each position is. But this card here, this particular position represents how you're thinking about money intellectually. So what you're thinking about it, um, what are, what kind of are your, is your intellectual attitude towards prosperity and towards money at this time? Now it might be something good or it might be blocked. Um, you know, in this case here, this person obviously has some energetic blocks in this particular area, but it is showing you currently kind of what your intellectual attitude is towards this. The next card here is your emotional attitude. How are you feeling about prosperity? How are you feeling about that right now? Uh, what are your emotions around that? Are they blocked? Are they flowing? What's going on in this particular area? The next one here is what you're practically doing about it. So what you're actually doing, what are you doing um, to enhance your prosperity right now? So obviously this person here with the two reverse cards shows that intellectually and emotionally they might be somewhat blocked in this area, but they are taking some actions, um, you know, towards their prosperity. And then finally, what's your spiritual attitude towards prosperity? Um, what spiritually kind of, what are you doing? How are you feeling about it? What's your spiritual practice towards prosperity? So this can show you where some current blocks are and maybe where you're doing well. Now the two cards on the, on the side here give you some additional information. This is your needs versus your wants. So what do you need right now? What is it that you actually really need? And what is it that you're just wanting? And there's nothing wrong with wants, but this kind of clearly defines out, maybe you're mixing up your wants with your needs or vice versa. And that can help you to kind of get a greater clarity about it. Now the spread isn't done here. We're going to turn over some more cards uh, to show you how you can change things. So what we're going to do is we're going to put another layer on top and we're going to um, do how can I change? What can I do to improve uh, my thoughts about prosperity, my intellectual attitude? How can I move that forward? So you're covering the block here because you've got a blockage here and you're putting the card over and we're looking at intellectually how you can fix um, some of those negative thoughts, how you can overcome that particular blockage. Now any emotional blockages, what can I do to overcome that? How can I think about that differently? How can I um, look at my emotions from a different place? So this again can help you with uncovering those blocks. Now these two cards here um, are pretty positive, but I'm still going to pull another card to say, how can I enhance this? How can I help this further? What else can I do practically to improve my prosperity? So there's another card there. And then finally, spiritually, what else can I do uh, to help improve my spiritual attitude towards prosperity? And there we go. So as you can see, you know, you might have four cards come up that are very, very positive. Uh, so you definitely want to keep those things and keep going. But I would still say add another layer to the cards just to see how you can enhance it further, what you can do. And if the card that came up is something that's more challenging, something that's more, um, more of a blockage or a challenge for you, you can say, how can I overcome that? What can I do to change that and put the card over top? So this is really an exercise in, um, you know, sort of looking at your current attitude, but then also taking some practical steps and like, how can I actually, you know, improve things? Because I think it's really common for a lot of us to have uh, energetic or money blocks 
or blocks around prosperity, especially we live in a society where, you know, we've got two extremes going on. On one side, it's like, um, you know, people are afraid of materialism. But on the other side, there's all this stuff that's very materialistic and sometimes dresses up spirituality or prosperity in like sort of spiritual clothing. You know, you have all these sort of prosperity churches and you have people doing, oh, I want to manifest this and this. And I think we need to find that balance because we do live in a world where we do need to, you know, buy physical, you know, objects to stay alive and we do need money and all that stuff so I think it's important to look at that but I also think that um, you know we need to find that balance because prosperity doesn't just mean money it means feeling um, you know feeling good about all the areas of your life so emotionally intellectually all those things so this is taking a look from at that I think from a more holistic uh, place that doesn't either vilify material things but doesn't put them on a pedestal either as the only thing so let me know if this particular spread works for you I would love to hear back from you see what you found with this particular spread how it worked for you and um, like I said, if you want your own reading, you can go over to my Etsy shop and check it out there. And thank you again so much for watching.